So every year for Halloween, I try and take advantage of the day and wear whatever I want to work outside of the dress code. Last year, I went as Elliot from Mr. Robot Show. Imagine a world gone insane. It took zero effort, and I had a comfy sweater on all day. My boss keeps telling me to try harder, so I'm going to put a little bit more effort into the costume this year. I'm sure that's what he meant. I started looking for discarded uniforms around Goodwill to build a costume around. I eventually found one that fit my personality. This is a white button collar down, so you know this guy had a clipboard binder or something. Time to make the clipboard binder. I use the same method that I did for the propaganda creation video, so go check out that video over there. The only difference being I used acrylic paint instead of fabric paint. Since this is a dual tone logo, I separated the logo into two parts. The first part was white, the second part I had to mix some colors for to stay on brand. To stick the clipboard to the binder, I drew a bunch of silly lines with some hot glue. I then took the clipboard and stuck it on those silly fucking lines and I pushed it down so it would stick. So that's done. I wanted to go that extra mile for realism, so I made some dumpster inspection sheets that this tech will fill out. He still felt two-dimensional, so I wanted to give him a face and a name. I went ahead with the name Miguel Basura. Basura in Spanish, of course, means garbage. Miguel means who is like God. He has two kids, sings in a band on the weekend, and likes to drink Corona. I sealed a transparent film to a blank ID card with some bonding and a UV light. I stole these blank ID cards from my ID department in high school, but you can easily buy them online. Putting it into a luggage tag holder really helps sell the look. Looks pretty fucking legit to me. Other items I included in Miguel's tool bag include an orange can of spray paint, WD-40 to loosen up doors and hinges, a company-issued camera to report vandalism and damages, and a mileage tracking booklet to keep track of all the miles from dumpster to dumpster. Being on the road for as long as Miguel is doesn't come cheap. I really wanted to get in character, so I drove around town and did his job for a day. Miguel's usual stops include bookstores, small electronic stores, craft stores, and construction sites. Construction sites like this one are often susceptible to body dumping, so it's important to look out for that. This one passed with flying colors. No, 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 no. Miguel tries not to disturb the workers from the store that are leasing the dumpster while they're working, but he wants to educate people on the legality of dumpster diving. While it's not technically illegal to dumpster dive in his state, Companies like to put up no trespassing signs to redefine dumpster diving as a crime. Why that fucking font though? On occasion, if a worker's out having a smoke break, he won't hesitate to talk to him. He's a friendly guy. Cool. Oh, uh, you know, same old, same old. This is a different model. This is a just a straight recycling. Where do these books go? I mean, out of the shelf? Uh, or where are they from, rather? Oh, where are they from? Yeah. People sell, people sell stuff. It's like there's stuff wrong with books. Mm. Um, we have places we can send certain items to. Okay, so we don't need one recycling dumps or just to for paper products. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Miguel often finds himself having to burn the midnight oil just to meet his quota. This is really his fault because he doesn't like to get up early, but he has to, so he does it really slow. He finds some pretty good shit though. This is a perfectly good shelving unit. Since Miguel's always on the road, his diet consists of shitty gas station food. He's usually done with his dinner by the time he gets up to the cash register, but he pays for it anyway, because he's an honest guy. He's also a speedway point whore. That's it for a day in the life of Miguel. Hope you liked him. Because he's gonna die now. <laughs> Happy Halloween, fuckers.